get a good shot of this camera, man. I want all the people at home to see the blood stains where it's been poked and prodded into somebody's forehead. You know, when I used to sit in that courtroom right next to a man who had murdered six people and had to look at the crime scene photos where he had cut somebody's head open and peeled the skin off their face to where there was nothing but skull, I used to think one thing. God, I wonder what that feels like. What it's like to actually take a man's life. Or what it's like to stand there and see another human being kill another person. Well, I'm going to get to see that very soon, you see. Tank, you obviously have lost your mind. You think that you can scare the iceberg with a sickle or a chainsaw? The iceberg feels no pain. He is a being of inconceivable horror. And he is the man that is going to take your life. You see, Tank, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, you can't frighten this man. He knows no fear. He is an indestructible killing machine, a harbinger of sorrow, the no pain train. And he is going to do exactly what I want. And what I want, Tank, is to watch him take your very life, whether it's with his own hands, whether it's with his fun toy that he likes to stick into somebody's head and twist it until the blood is squirting like a fountain and bathe in their very blood. And that's not enough because he is not just going to bleed from your head tank. He's going to stick it in your arm and rip it down to the very flesh. I want to see the goddamn iceberg. I want you to rip him to pieces. Oh my God, it won't be long, Tank. Trash is already in a wheelchair, so the only thing we can do is to top that. And the only thing to top crippling somebody is to kill them. And Tank, the next time Iceberg gets his hands on you, he is going to kill you. you to take this and stick it right into his head, stick it in his temple, and dig out his brains. Oh, Tank, you're gonna die.